So this is a little bit about uh, don't leave home until you've seen the country. And there's a lot of push on tourism around this. So I don't know how many of you have um, done some traveling because I have over June, once we got lockdown passed through the frozen wastes of the South Island. Um, some questions about how much we as Kiwis spend traveling. So how much did Kiwis spend traveling overseas last year of these numbers? 470 million, 1.5 billion, 6 billion or 9 billion? 6, it should be actually 4.8. It was actually 9. <laughs> 9 billion dollars. I thought it was 6. <laughs> well, that, that, was, that was statistics New Zealand, who knows? Exactly. Um, <laughs> that, was, that was 3 million trips in 2019 against 3 million actually tourists coming. So we have got the ability to offset some of the tourism if we just go up our backside. Of course, unfortunately, we tend to be cheap tourists. Only 38% of us when we travel actually stay somewhere that spends money. Most of us stay with friends or try and not spend much. So you've got to get a bit, dig into your wallet a bit more when you are traveling. So how well do you know in New Zealand places? I'm going to start you with an easy one. This is a photo on lockdown that I took and you could not hear a sound. There wasn't a boat on the harbour. There was no traffic on the hut. On the hut motorway, nothing. It was very weird. It felt like the movie The Quiet Earth if everybody's ever seen that New Zealand film. So That's actually taken from the Miramar Peninsula walking out towards uh, Massey Memorial. Um, and if anybody of you walked there, when you Google Earth, when I moved to Wellington, I Googled Earth and thought, oh, this is a really interesting. Um, it looked like a, um, uh, a Mexican type of village built up there, and I thought, must be a film set. I got up there, it was a totally empty field. Google was about a year out of date from them demolishing a site for a biblical epic that was going to be up on them, uh, film hardly up there. All these buildings just totally gone, and I, I kept looking and thinking, have I got this wrong? So this is a mountain overlooking a famous spa town on the North Island. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I almost moved there actually, there was a section I was looking to buy. I back through my photos. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were picking answers. To your old heart. Yeah. Which, uh, <laughs> good little town. It's actually got some lovely little places to stay with natural spas there as well. Here's a little trickier one for you. You can recognise the island background, of course. That's a Stanley Palmer painting. He's one of my favourite New Zealand artists. So I met a little while back. And there were a few paintings of his. But I found that one, and then when I stayed there, I walked up on the hill to get that exact perspective, which is pretty much the same. Does anybody know where that is? Okay, yeah. It's a car. Okay. Because that's white island. It's all around, around those areas. Apart from that, but it's quite low. So the white island actually has a really good go. You've got about three minutes before it's going to get quite down. <laughs> and it's actually quite a nice hotel there. Um, it's gone through multiple ownership changes. So that's a north facing beach on the west coast of the North Island. It's about the only north facing beach on the west coast of the North Island. Everybody knows where it is? Yeah. Oh, Kura. Close, though. Yeah. That's the, that's the Okura River coming out there. And there's an anchor stone buried underneath the Whanganui there, which have come from the first five canoes. So it's been quite a few summer staying here. Great place to swim, but a bit cold in winter, that river. Right, you won't need the good seafood in this place. You even know that, Helen. You should all know that if you travel around the North Island. <laughs> Close, it's the top of the Hokianga Harbour. So you go down to a pootery and then open only. Cockthorn, um, uh, a pootery is lovely, lovely hotel. Um, we did ask a rose AD though, and they said, is that red or white? Ooh. Somewhere in between. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a nice hotel. And you, you come around and they've got a rest area just as you come around that corner, which they put there because that's where everybody stops in the middle of the road because the view is so tough. When you're driving over this bridge, which is about a kilometre long, what's the next town south? Tenedo. Wrong coast, actually. Oh, is that half? Wrong island, actually. You can see Clyde. 
Past. Fortunately, when I wrote over that in June, it didn't quite look like that. <laughs> so, you can see this lake, some of you might recognise, but what's the lake you've driven by two minutes before when you when you see this one? Lake Dunstan? That's Hawaka. That's Hawaka, that's right, Monica. You actually drive literally from one to the other in about a minute. Where would you find this award winning cheese factory? $77 for a nice big wheel of their uh, white stone. Oh, it wouldn't be blue if you want to go in there. You turn right there. This is in the uh, first week of June this year. As you can see, the snow was coming well down. I think the day started off when I left um, Tamuka. It was minus five in Timaru. So it's a problem. Where do you, if you go over that bridge and go another kilometre, you turn right, where are you going to? Um, Paikura. Paikura. That's the that's just short of Paikura. You can actually see those mountains just about four from here. It's a good time to have a place to yourself. When I was going through um, central Otago, I think between Alexandra and Mosville, I saw 10 cars. And um, certainly if you ride motorcycles, that road doesn't get much better than that. The Porsche just happens, of course. <laughs> so get out and enjoy your country. And donate to the Sunshine Box and also make it easier for people, for those who are on um, Zoom as well. Sign up for regular donations, just make it a lot easier for the systems and for Rebecca and to keep the uh, enter present from the style to which you become accustomed. Thank, Thank you. you.